Hi there, welcome to Lordric's room. My name is Lordric. Y'all, it is December. I know it feels like time doesn't really exist anymore. You know, linear progression through time kind of feels optional at this point. However, it still is December, which means there's just barely a month left until RD applications are due. There may be only a month left, but there's still a month left. So we're gonna continue on. In the last few videos, we've been taking a look at some different categories of supplemental essays. Let's do that again. Today, let's go over essays about extracurricular activities. At this point, you've probably already filled out most of the more informational parts of your Common App, which includes the activity section. However, this section only gives you 150 characters to describe your extracurricular activities, and it's pretty likely that you've used all that space to describe your role and any accomplishments you have in those activities. Not really any space to tell a story, but that's what this essay is for. You know, outside of school, students spend a lot of time doing various activities, so it's worthwhile to see what students are up to. The activities that a student is involved with can have a pretty big impact on them, and that's not something that's easy to capture in a 150 character description. That's why so many schools have prompts asking about an applicant's extracurricular activities. In fact, a lot of them use basically the same prompt, and some of them even have the same exact phrasing, and sometimes even the same exact word count. You got schools like Harvard, Brown, Princeton, Stanford, and Vanderbilt, just as a few examples. So as usual, I'd like to share an example of my own, and then we'll talk about some advice for y'all as you work on your own essays. As I just mentioned, a lot of schools I applied to had essentially the same exact prompt. So I just copied and pasted my essay for each of these schools' applications. Some of these ended up being successful applications, but others ended up being unsuccessful applications. I had the same essays for Stanford, Brown, and Princeton, but I was accepted to Stanford and Brown, but rejected from Princeton. So I think it's important to point out that this essay isn't exactly what made or broke any of my applications since admissions officers have to consider all the different parts of my application together. I can't say that my essay is a perfect example or anything, but I think it'll be helpful to share still. Okay, let's switch angles. Alright, so I'll be reading my essay from my Stanford and Brown applications. The exact phrasing of the prompts is very slightly different, but they do have the same word count, at least when I was applying. I'll just read the Stanford prompt which asked to briefly elaborate on one of your extracurricular activities or work or family responsibilities. So for both schools, I wrote, To win a spot on WGBH's high school quiz show, our quiz team faced off against team after team, making our way to the semifinals. Then, disaster struck. The match felt off. Every time we pressed the buzzer, nothing happened. The other team gained a hefty lead. Then I saw it. Our buzzer's cables were disconnected. We explained the discovery to the show host, Jeff Kinney, my favorite childhood author and now mortal enemy. But he insisted we continue after a half-hearted attempt to fix the cables. Unsurprisingly, we lost. It should have ended there, but our coach wouldn't accept it. Seeing her stand her ground against the big shot producer lit our fighting spirits. We protested and wouldn't let up until they let us redo the match with new buzzers. We won the rematch, then the finals. Now moving on, will our struggles pay off? Tune into High School Quiz Show to find out. Great, now let's switch back to the main camera. All right, so what do I hope y'all can learn from this? I'd say the main takeaway is that it's important to tell an exciting story for this kind of prompt. And exciting doesn't necessarily mean something particularly extraordinary or thrilling. By exciting, I just mean that it should have some kind of action that you can follow in real time. You have to be mindful of your scope since this essay is so short. Essentially, 
You want to focus on a specific event rather than the activity as a whole. So instead of writing about your time in debate club over the past four years in general, I think it would be better to hone in on a specific debate competition that you can make a story out of. Is it called a competition? Is it a match? A game? Debate game. No, that doesn't sound right. For example, in this essay, I wrote about a specific instance that took place during my time with High School Quiz Show. The entire competition took place over several weeks, but I chose this one event to share because of how restrictive this prompt is. I wrote about my in-the-moment actions rather than general summarizing statements. Because of this, I was able to do more showing than telling, which is generally what you want to do in your college applications. As a counterexample, I wrote my Harvard extracurricular essay on my time in student government. I didn't choose one specific event, but rather took a broad look at my experiences in student government as a whole. This meant that I spread myself way too thin in terms of the word count and couldn't really say anything of substance. Looking back, that essay isn't one I am proud of and I was deferred from Harvard at the time, which is why I went in a different direction for all my other schools. Maybe if I had learned that lesson sooner, I could have written a better essay for my Harvard application when I applied REA. Would that have made a difference? I don't really know. But it doesn't really matter now. If things were different, they would be different. And with that essay for Harvard, I wrote about pretty mundane stuff about leadership and whatnot. Pretty boring to be honest, and I imagine my admissions officer probably thought the same. It probably didn't hit any different to them than many of the other essays written on student government that they read. That essay also didn't really say anything about my character in a unique way. You know, I definitely learned a lot about leadership, resilience, autonomy, and things of that nature during my time in student government but I didn't really convey those lessons in a way unique to my overall story. You could have replaced my name with the name of basically anyone else who has led student government. The subject matter itself was fine, but the execution was not so great. If I wanted to go forward with this topic of student government, I should have focused on a single event that is more unique to me, but that's not what I did and the results show. So with the new essay I wrote for all my other schools, I wanted to write about an experience more unique to me, which is why I decided to write about High School Quiz Show. I would imagine that there aren't really any other people out there who were in the same kind of situation that my team was in. But you know, I might be wrong. If you've ever gotten into an argument with Diary of a Wimpy Kid author and Pop Tropica creator Jeff Kinney over a trivia game show, please let me know. Comparing this essay to my previous essay, I was still able to incorporate similar lessons on resilience and such, but I did it in a more unique way here. I think what's important in this essay is to be able to quickly give insight into your character. But if nothing else, writing about something action-packed like this can help leave an impression on your readers. I'd say that being memorable is better than being unmemorable because then at least your readers will remember you. I think something that helps make your essay more memorable is by making it more distinct from the other parts of your application. You already talked about your activity back in the activity section, so you don't need to repeat that information here. I know it can be tempting to talk about your various achievements again, but it doesn't add anything new to your application because you've already mentioned that stuff previously. If you talked about winning first place at a national science competition, you usually shouldn't repeat it again here. Essays aren't really the place to repeat your resume. Especially since you have so few words to work with in the first place, redundancy is gonna really hinder your ability to tell your story about this activity. Each part of your application has its own role to fill, so you don't need to put all your eggs in one basket. So for this essay, I focused on this one event that took place over the course of probably an hour or two. 
even then, it was hard to fit all the details I wanted to since I had so few words to work with. But I think that this is intentional. I suppose this essay is supposed to get to the bare bones of what you want to say. Because if schools wanted more details, then they would have given you more words to work with. In my essay, I barely explained what High School Quiz Show was, and the main conflict is resolved in like one sentence. You know, I definitely didn't have the space to describe the autumn weather or why the curtains were blue. I gave the bare minimum context needed that the story could not have made any sense without. Then I just jumped right into the thick of things, and I was just barely able to say everything that I needed to say. I'm sure I've made this kind of analogy before, but if you imagine your essays as like punches, you want to hit as hard as you can. You can't waste time throwing little jabs to test out the waters, and you don't have the space to set up any 20 hit combos. You only have one punch, so you gotta make it count. One final thing I would like to touch on is recycling. Generally, it's not good to recycle essays between schools because most prompts are specific to individual schools. The extracurricular activity essay is different in that it is self-contained within your high school experiences. I would say that if you already talked about this activity in a different essay for a school, it would be better to write about a different activity for this prompt. Otherwise, if you haven't already written about this activity, go for it. Reduce, reuse, and recycle to your heart's content. That's about all I have for y'all today. Hopefully you found at least some of this helpful in your essay writing journey. The application cycle is quickly winding down, so best of luck to you guys applying. I hope to see you guys again in the next video, so I'll see you then. Bye.